Carl and Brendan here from Games, Brains and Headbang Life, GBHBL.com for sure, and it's reaction time. As we're checking out a track from the Australian instrumental post rock Sleep Makes Waves, all one word. They released their latest album, it's here, but I have no names for it, on April 12th, 2024. Five Birds, Robe, MGM and Dunk Records. Now, it should come as a surprise to nobody, but the words instrumental and post rock all together are things that make me very turned on. So as soon as this band came my way, I was very, very much on board. Instrumental, post-rock, this could be fucking beautiful. It could be massively wonderful and intriguing and exciting. Um, and or it could or it could not be, basically. But most of the time it turns out to be. I love the record. I gave it a nine out of ten in a review. Uh, so I really, really did. So we thought I'd choose a track from it. Uh, and I could have chose several, uh, but I've gone for one. I think I think shows all the elements nicely but intriguingly i have chosen the track right they're an instrumental band but you have one track with some vocals on it that is what we're doing it's the one with a little bit of vocals on it so even though they're an instrumental band for the most part there is a track on this album with some vocals and this is the track we're doing it's terror future uh have you heard of this band no i've heard nothing about them i actually only just realized by reading the stuff on here that the name of the album is it's here but i have no name for it i thought you were saying they have oh. a new album out it's here but i have no name for it that's what i thought originally and i was like well, what do you mean you've got no name for it and i've just seen it on the side there so <laughs> that's well, how that's little it. i know about this band or that album um what do you what do you um what's your initial feeling when you hear instrumental post-rock uh instrumental is fine i you know, <laughs> love instrumental music it's, it's for the yeah, you know, I I love lyrics as well, but it's the music that got me into music, not not the words. Um, I think instrumental post works better for me than lyrical post. Okay. Uh, actually, because it's musical, but it it does depend. It's a wide genre now, and yeah, you know what's what does post even mean anymore? Because now it's just a tagline at the beginning of other genres. Put post. Hardcore. Know, yeah, post atmospheric death black reggae i don't know mm -hmm. like it's so it's so fucking wide now so i'm I, i'm learning to take each band as it comes and not worry too much about the genre bit do you know what i mean like oh i'm trying to it's not always easy because it does put a preconception in your mind uh but some of them now for me technical progressive post there are so many bands that would categorize themselves as that and that a lot of them are so different to each other that without then having to go down to different levels of post, you know, where it'll just get even more confusing. It's almost, I always just have to go, right, okay, it's rock slash metal instrumental and, and just go with the the top level, you know? I hear you. I like it. I like your thinking. Um, straightforward and it'll certainly mean it, it, it opens your mind for, for basically yeah. listening to everything, which is the most important thing. So let's do this then. Terra Future in three, two, one, go.
There we go. There we go. But you're wondering, oh, wait, where are the vocals in this? <laughs> there, there. Uh, yeah, I was, well, oh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, you kind of figured pretty early on that, okay, it's not going to be, I like, we're going to go full verse, chorus, verse, chorus here. No, nothing like that, yes. Um, yeah, I mean, it's very listenable, you know, the mu- musically, what through before the vocals come in, it's like 60 percent of the song is just genuinely very, very nice and beautiful mm. and easy to listen to. I like the kind of keys melody, nice big bass at the beginning of it. Obviously, loads of lead guitars and lots of harmonizing, and there's some backing kind of atmospherics in there. Um, all comes together nice. It sounds really good, like from a production, like a tone perspective. It all sounds like you can pick each instrument out, you know, kind of clearly, but like it all still sounds wonderful together as well. Uh, I, I was waiting for the vocals, obviously, like to see what happened there. Um, I uh, I guess you probably get a bit of a preconception in your head because, like, just not not in a negative way, but like as it was leading up to it, like, because of the style of the song up until that point, you know. I, I was I wasn't surprised by the style of the vocals. Like I wasn't thinking, oh, like it's going to come in like Danny Phil for. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, <laughs> they're suddenly going to turn a corner and it's going to be a, like a death metal vocals. But mm-hmm. so they kind of fitted in nicely with what my mind had kind of got the place I'd gone to. I guess. Yeah. You know, it's quite dreamy kind of style. Yeah, dreamy is the right word. You know, but they're nice. I like the vocals in it. You know, I also really like the idea, like you know, that they have that as a tool and they can. I know you said it's like the only one, but maybe it's something that you can use more in the future, which is not mm-hmm. to suddenly lay a vocals all over all your tracks, but adding it as a passage. It almost gives me that, it's not not musically in any way, but that kind of to live is to die Metallica sort of thing, you know, just a, a passage at the end of the song. But we would still class that as an instrumental. Yeah, that's you know? true. Um, and for the most part, this is too. I couldn't always. I, I mean, I could pick out some of the lyrics, but I couldn't. I, I couldn't. One hundred. Oh, it's very, it's very. It's 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 almost buried to a certain degree. Yeah, like, yeah. The, the instrument. It becomes like the another instru- instrument, doesn't it? Like yeah. you know, just alongside like the melodies and the guitars. But you know, look, it's 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 a beautiful song. It's like what five minutes roughly uh, flies by. Very very easy to listen to. You, it, there's nothing in that that anyone who likes music could listen to that and go, "Oh, that's shit." That like, it's not yeah. very very well played well put together very very talented clearly so yeah it's it's it. it's it's not even my favorite on the album to be fair but it was one that i thought surmised uh then probably the best purely because it's got a bit more of the erratic playing because there's a lot more smoothness elsewhere and it's got a lot more erratic um instrumentals going on here you know at the start you get this choppy bass part that i really really like but also when it kind of breaks out of that and almost like I see it as like sunshine breaking through clouds, you get these very familiar post melody highs. And that's where like, I feel like when people use the term post rock, this is a good example of that mm. because they're very familiar. It's a very harmonized guitars and it's really, really bright and so on. But ultimately overall, the whole thing, regardless, even though it's got some heavier tones and I use that term loosely heavier tones, it's all about melody and it's got a wicked melody thick vein of it running all the way through it and as that chops and changes and as that shifts and shimmers that's what I find so fascinating I love music like this at the best of times anyway because yeah. it's so easily uh background listening a lot of the time so easy to relax to um and just chill out to but yeah sleep makes waves just yeah they, they, they kind of got my attention and this is just one of the great tracks from the great album yeah yeah yeah, simple as that, folks. What do you reckon? You got any thoughts on it? It's Terra Future by Sleep Makes Waves, or one word. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website, where reviews, news, and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at GBHBL. Just search for GBHBL and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.